Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on what is happening. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, what is happening across Jamaica today in terms of these strong winds that are anticipated. And we're also going to be looking at the Caribbean at a wider view. And you might notice that in the nighttime and also during the very early morning hours, the temperature gets pretty low. So we're going to be talking about that briefly as well. And so be before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Alright, and so looking at visible satellite imagery of the Caribbean, you'll notice that in the first part of this imagery, uh, it is pretty dark. You're not really seeing much, and that is because uh, we're just entering daylight, of course, and the clouds reflect light of the sun. And so that is how they're seen on this uh, type of satellite imagery here but we can tell from what is seen thus far that there isn't too much happening right now there are some cloud clusters here and there especially in the vicinity of the northwestern caribbean uh where we have puerto rico the virgin islands and parts of the leeward islands so within those areas the possibility definitely exists for some showers this morning and uh looking at a closer view of jamaica here we can see that we mainly see that activity across uh northern parishes not seeing too much for the southern parishes so it's likely that persons there are waking up to clear beautiful skies and it is not going to be as windy for the southern half of the country and let's go into why that is going to be the case here so looking at this map we can definitely see that winds are coming mainly from the northeast and uh, as a result they, uh, the northern part of the country is going to be uh, experiencing most of those winds. And so uh, as we would progress further into the country, of course, uh, there is a lot of there are a lot of elevated areas such as mountains or hills, and they act as barriers. So the winds can't go through them. And as a result, that is why areas further inland as well as the southern portion of the country uh, aren't going to be feeling much of those intense winds that the northern half of the country will be feeling as we progress throughout today. So that is what is anticipated as you're going to be heading into later today. And of course, as the day comes to a close, uh, those wind speeds are going to gradually decrease. Okay, and so now let's go ahead and move on to the relative humidity map and we're looking at the GFS here. So uh, when we have the brown ones as we're seeing being so prominent, that indicates a low relative humidity. And so a lot of dry conditions are currently uh, across the Caribbean. We're in the dry season and with all of this, uh, drought is being induced across some areas. So we have that water shortage and uh, crops also tend to suffer a lot but thankfully due to the intermittent passage of clouds bringing some rainfall maybe that might alleviate some of these stress but for the most part we're in the dry season but we're going to be leaving it within the coming weeks and so now in terms of those cool conditions or those cooler temperatures as we head into the nocturnal hours and so we're looking at the gfs temperature anomaly map here and we can see that we have some of those blues across the caribbean and those blues are indicating below normal temperatures and it's a light blue shade so it's not anything very dramatic however uh, we are definitely experiencing some of those cooler nights and especially in the very early morning hours and we can see here that as we're going to be heading into Monday of the coming week that is still going to be quite persistent across parts of the Caribbean and uh, those are most felt in the nighttime hours because of course during the day uh, we receive a direct rays of the sun because we're located in the Caribbean near the equator. So that is why uh, these temperatures are more noticeable as we head into the late nighttime hours and early morning hours. But we're still in the winter time right now and we're going to be uh, going into spring next month. And March begins very momentarily in just a few days. And also as I speak about that, we are less than 100 days away from the official start of the 2023 Atlantic Hurricane season so my weekly countdown videos along with any other updates are going to be back uh, beginning next week and so I'm going to be taking you guys through all that is happening across the North Atlantic and if there is anything important to talk about it'll certainly be mentioned in those videos.
But that is currently what's happening, guys. So again, not a whole lot of rainfall across the Caribbean region or uh, even for Jamaica. Not a whole lot expected. Maybe some brief showers here and there. But it's going to be a pretty windy day for the northern parishes uh, for the most part, guys. So that is it for now. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts in there. And of course, remember to always be weather-wise.